Hi, let's talk about text painting. That's where we use music to reinforce ideas and images from the text. When we write songs, we start with the text, the words, the lyrics. Then we set them to music. The bottom line, music serves the text. Lift Every Voice and Sing is an incredible song born right here in Jacksonville, Florida. It started as a poem by James Weldon Johnson around 1900. He collaborated with his brother, J. Rosamond Johnson, who put it to music. Let's take a closer look. The opening words get a simple rhythmic pattern that serves as a foundation for the whole song. Lift every voice and sing. Ba, 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 ba. That rhythm marches forward as it repeats in whole or in part throughout. Lift every voice and sing. Lift every voice is an ascending line that reflects the idea of lift. The words voice and sing are on the same repeated pitch, highlighting unity and perseverance. Let our rejoicing rise. In the next line, the same melody jumps to a high note on rise. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. This rhythmic pattern is a manipulation of the one before, creating change and continuity at the same time. The melody uses a repeated descending pattern to depict the history of adversity in the lyrics. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. The section ends with high notes in hope for the future. Facing the rising sun. Rising sun rises to a high note, just like the earlier melody, which precisely reflects the mood of triumphant affirmation in the text. The poem is an amazing work all by itself. With this musical setting, it became the Black National Anthem and secured its place in American culture for the last hundred years. The Civic Orchestra of Jacksonville had the privilege of performing Lift Every Voice and Sing with the Ritz Voices in 2018, and I got to hear it live. This is Ann McKennon. On behalf of the Civic Orchestra of Jacksonville, I hope to see you at the next concert.